everyone, it's Claire back again. Uh, this is just kind of an update video really. I think a lot of people who follow me on Instagram will know that it's just been a bad few days for me. Uh, I don't even really know what happened or how it happened but I, uh, I took, it's Marwin, I took him out for a, a walk on Wednesday night in the park with his usual friends he's a sturdy dog so there's you know rough and tumble as there usually is with his friends um and i took him to my sister's after the park and he was playing with my sister's two dogs uh, and i got him home that night and he was shaking and trembling i thought he'd just presumed that he'd had something strange to eat he picked something up off the floor in the park and had something weird to eat, but it he was just he was I was up all night with him, um, trembling and panting. So I took him to the vets the next day. Um I'm hoping that Meridian watches this and can give me some advice or suggestions. Uh but yeah, I took him to the vets the next day, they checked him out, um, did took his blood pressure, his blood pressure was okay, a little bit high, but He's nervous of being at the vets anyway. Um, but she couldn't really see anything wrong with him uh, apart from doing like further blood tests. So we said, OK, well, well, let's just see how he goes overnight. I'll bring him back if he's any worse tomorrow. So Thursday night, he um, <clears throat> he was drowsy because she'd given him some antibiotics. And he usually sleeps upstairs in bed, in my bed, with me at the bottom of the bed. And usually when he hears me going upstairs, he follows me upstairs. And he didn't, which I thought was really strange. I had to actually pick him up and take him upstairs. Um, he seemed to sleep okay, but the next morning, um, he just wouldn't move, wouldn't get off the bed. Um, I brought him, up, carried him downstairs and sat him up and... Um, I'll insert a little clip here. Marwin, come here, Bubble. Come here, baby. Come here. Come on. So I couldn't understand what had happened. His back legs completely paralysed. No idea what happened. Um, took him to the vets again and they did some x-rays and he's he's damaged his spine in three different areas it's kind of the same site but in three different places um i just don't know how he did it i no idea how he did it he's with me 24 7 he's never really out of my sight um so i've got no idea the, the vet was saying it's not uncommon for terriers to go through this i mean he's only He's only two. Um, I'm devastated, to be honest. I The vet was saying it's like 50-50 if he'll walk again. Um, so it's cage rest, four to six weeks cage rest. He can sleep on the bed with me in the evening to provide a bit of norm normality. Um, and he's been doing that fine. He's, I've got into the stage at the moment where he lets me know where he, when he needs a, 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 a pee so I'll take him outside for a pee and that's fine there's been a few sprinkles where he's not quite made it um, and I wasn't quite sure whether he needed a wee or not but we've managed to I mean I'm getting into a routine with him um, I'll see if I can turn this around so here he is at the moment um, he's in this he's in his cage usually but i'm just washing i'm just just constantly washing towels and bedding at the moment um he's doing okay he's just had some med he's had his medication so he's quite drowsy at the moment so yeah i'm just constantly nursing him keeping an eye on him cleaning him up trying to keep him occupied uh he's getting quite he was a bit miserable today because he was quite messy this morning when when he woke up this morning, or when I woke up this morning, he was quite messy. Um, I mean, to be honest, for the first 24 hours, I was worried that he just hadn't been to the toilet. But I, I don't, you know, I'd, I'm, I'm looking after him the best that I can. 
there's a chance because he's young and because he, uh, he he's, he's strong and he's strong-willed. I'm hoping that we'll get there. I just, I don't know what to say, really. Um, he's my absolute world. I adore this dog. Um, I, I, it's just a waiting game to see whether or not it will it will work and whether or not his back will heal and whether he'll be able to walk again. Um, I don't even want to think about what might happen if I have to make any decisions about him not improving. I know that it's going to be a long road and I know that there's going to be a lot of physio and rehab and and it's going to take a while. I have read online that dogs do can make a full recovery from this. Um, I think it helps that he's young. When um, Meridian, if you're listening, Meridian's a wildlife vet, by the way. Um, the, the, the vet did a, a, t a p like a pin test on Friday and she pinched his toe and he retracted his back leg just a little bit. Just you could see that he, he felt it. Um, and she said that that was a good sign. Um, also, it's Sunday now. Um, this all happened like Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and I'm taking him back. They want to monitor him on a regular basis and see how he is over the, the next four to six weeks. But, um, yeah, if anybody has got any advice or... I, I, I don't... I mean, I'm just doing the best that I can at the moment. Um, yeah. Sorry, I just had to stop there because I just keep bursting into tears. Um, if I stop for long enough and think about it too much, I, c I can't cope. I just can't deal with it. Um, so I'm just keeping myself busy all the time, just constantly washing the towels and playing with him as much as I can and trying to keep him occupied, um, just giving him lots of attention. Uh, he can't be left at all on his own if he's just lying there in his little, like, playpen area. Unless I put him in his cage, and I don't really like doing that for too long. Um, although he's fine in there. His mobility at the moment is pretty much zero um, in his back legs. He can shuffle around a little bit. He can sit up a little bit. Um, it's all about trying to make sure that he doesn't pull his back and, and cause any more damage. Um, and that it heals. They did do um, some laser therapy at the vets. I mean, I don't know if that's a, a, a bit just kind of woo-woo and whether or not it actually works, um, but that's supposed to help with the healing. Um, yeah, I'm just doing as much as I can to try and keep occupied. And like I say, if I stop and think about it too much, I start to just crumble. Um, it's not, I mean, I could understand if this was like a, de, you know, a degenerative disc problem, back problem. I know that Jack Russells have, um, can have back problems and um, my sister had a Jack Russell that was very similar to Marwin that um, he got to about 14, 15 and his, his front legs used to get really shaky um, and she used to have to give him Metacam quite a bit. But he's two, Marwin's two, there's no, you know, and he's, he was, I, I just don't understand how it's happened. And the more I think about that, the more it drives me crazy that I don't, you know, it's like somebody's picked him up and thrown him against a wall. But I can't, that, that, he's been with me all the time. I keep, I, the vet just kept saying, it happens, it happens. Um, they can just twist the backs and, you know, if they're rolling over. But it's just, it's just been so tough. Um, I you know you think they're invincible um, and I can't, I mean he can hear me so I can't even say the word but I so miss taking him out for W-A-L-K to the P-A-R-K. Um, that's where he's at his happiest and I don't know, I just it just feels like I'm never going to be able to do that again. Um, I, I'm trying to keep busy. Uh, one of the things that I thought I wouldn't be able to do, but I'm trying to keep doing at the moment. I have, I have been able to paint my nails today while he's been asleep after his medication. Um, 
and, and I'm and I'm I am still planning to film videos because I've got time to do it. I can sit here and set up things while he's sleeping and and do some videos. But I'll try not to sound too miserable in in any videos after this video. I've got a couple that are scheduled out, like nail art video ones, um, before all this happened. Um, just in case you're thinking, oh, she sounds quite happy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, this is just an update. If anyone's been through this and they've got through this um, in a positive way and you've got any tips at all that you can give me. I mean, I did ask the vet, could I, should I put like a heat pack under him to help his back? And she just said, no, just let him just that she does. That might make him overheat and get more uncomfortable. So I'm just trying to keep him comfortable at the moment, restrict his movement right now that's okay because he doesn't want to move and he can't move i think once he starts to heal fingers crossed it, that's going to be a great thing but that's going to be when it's going to be really really hard to try to stop him from moving around uh, but I, you know as, as far as i'm concerned i'm going to be with him 24 7 he's not out of my sight so anything where he's stuck trying to move or shuffle around where he shouldn't or stretch or whatever because he's he's so good he doesn't cry he doesn't wince he doesn't whimper so it's really hard to to to, to know if he's in pain he's, he's got three different types of painkillers um one for nerve pain one for um like an anti-inflammatory and one's just a normal painkiller so he's got pain relief um just poor little guy. It's just it's awful when things like this happen, especially when you don't see it or you don't know how or why or when it happened. Um, yeah, so I'm not in a great place at the moment, but I thought I'd just give you all an update on where I'm at. I will try to continue to do the nail videos. Um, like I say, I've got time because I'm going to be just completely focused on Marwin for, for the next four to six weeks. Um, but I have to keep myself busy or I will just crash. Um, and part of me keeping myself busy is keeping up with things like my channel. So we'll see, we'll see. I mean, I know that there are much more horrible things going on in the world than what's happening to Marwin. But to me, it's the worst thing that could be possibly happening right now. Um Thank you so much for your support, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.